This is WYAR 88.3 FM, the voice of the Heritage Radio Society. WYAR is an independent, non-commercial, educational radio station with programming that encompasses all the best music from primarily the first 60 years of the 20th century. I'm Kent, and you're listening to Theme Street, a show all about the word on the street. And the word on the street today, eyes. Mother told her darling, go out and find yourself a brown eyed handsome man. That's what your daddy is, a brown eyed handsome man. When the Marlowe Venus was a beautiful lad, she had the world in the palm of her hand. She lost for the arms in her roots, running past to win a brown eyed handsome man. She thought she wanted herself a brown eyed handsome man. When the two came to count, and no father only hit a high line into the stand. Around the third, he was a hit for home, it was a brown eyed handsome man. Buddy Holly, brown-eyed, handsome man. Originally a Chuck Berry tune released on Chess Records in September 1956. Holly's version was released posthumously in 1963. Buddy Holly was a central and pioneering figure of mid-50s rock and roll. He made his first appearance on local TV in 1952. And in 1955, after opening for Elvis... He decided to pursue a career in music. Holly released three studio albums, one in 57 with the Crickets and two solo albums in 1958. After a show in Iowa in February 1959, he chartered an airplane to travel to his next show in Minnesota. Soon after takeoff, the plane crashed, killing Holly, Richie Valens, the Big Bopper, and the pilot, Roger Peterson. In a tragedy later referred to by Don McLean as The Day the Music Died. This is WIAR 88.3 FM. You're listening to Theme Street, a show all about the word on the street. And the word on the street today Eyes. <laughs> I know that you 
My baby never told me exactly how I stand. She even tries to scold me when I hold her little hand. My baby may be bashful, my baby may be shy, but I'm happy, oh so happy, and I'll tell you why. Oh, I know my baby loves me, I can tell my baby loves me, for there ain't no baby in my baby's eyes. And even though she don't express it, she might just as well confess it, for there ain't no baby in my baby's eyes. We sit each evening and never speak, I wish each evening could last a week. For I know my baby loves me, I can tell my baby loves me, cause there ain't no baby in my baby's eyes. Although our conversation is mostly just hello, that certain hesitation, every time I start to go, her little way of saying, that little word goodbye, makes me happy, oh so happy, and here's just why. Oh, I know my baby loves me, I can tell my baby loves me, cause there ain't no baby in my baby's eyes. And even though she don't express it, she might just as well confess it, for there ain't no baby in my baby's eyes. We sit each evening, never speak, and I wish each evening could last a week. For I know my baby loves me, I can tell my baby loves me, for there ain't no baby. In my baby's eyes Oh, no, my baby loves me I can tell my baby loves me Cause there ain't no baby In my baby's eyes Even though she don't express it She might just as well confess it Oh, there ain't no baby In my baby's eyes We sit each evening And never speak And I wish each evening Could last a week For I know my baby loves me I can tell my baby loves me, for there ain't no baby in my baby's eyes. I was all alone, no one to call my own. When I met a little girl with a pretty red curls and the devil in her eyes. She looked at me and smiled, my heart almost went wild. I am so in love with my angel from above Oh, my cute little pet that I can't forget With the devil in her eyes Charms, 
but they're just dancing. My jealous eyes, you mustn't grieve. Just tell my heart that it must believe. He holds her tight, but that's all right. They're only dancing. What are they saying while they are swaying? Oh, can it be he's tired of me? My jealous eyes, the dance is through. Now you can turn back from green to blue. It's fine again, he's mine again. And he still loves me My jealous eyes You mustn't grieve Just tell my heart that it must believe He holds her tight But that's all right They're only dancing What are they saying While they are swaying Oh, can it be He's tired of me is through now you can turn back from green to blue it's fine again is mine again and he still loves me and he Patty Page, Jealous Eyes, from 1953. Page signed with Mercury Records in 1947 and became their first successful female recording artist. In 1950, she had her first million-selling single titled With My Eyes Wide Open, I'm Dreaming, and would eventually have 14 additional million-selling singles between 1950 and 1965. Jealous Eyes was the B-side to Paige's great song, The Doggy in the Window. We played Doggy in the Window on a past episode of the show where the word on the street was dog. To listen to that and other past episodes, just search online using hashtag ThemeStreetWIAR. Before that, Jimmy Dawson, Devil Eyes from 1955. He was born Thomas Latham in Louisiana in 1924. Known as the Old Dixie Drifter, he legally changed his name to James Dawson in 1956. He never hit it big, but he wrote some really great songs, which he recycled sometimes years after and on other labels or under different names. Devil Eyes was the B-side to his great tune, walking around in circles we heard there ain't no maybe in my baby's eyes from one of my favorite artists from the early 20th century whispering jack smith this one was from 1927 whispering jack smith was a popular baritone singer in the 1920s and 30s who made a brief comeback in the late 40s he was a popular radio and recording artist who occasionally appeared in films One reviewer, in describing his whispering style, said that his art was the epitome of understatement, the great whispering Jack Smith. And we started off that set with Art Mooney, Beautiful Eyes, from 1948. His biggest hits were I'm Looking Over a Four-Leaf Clover and Babyface, also in 1948, and his collaboration with Barry Gordon in 1955, the great song, Nothing for Christmas. Mooney's name, as well as his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, was prominently featured in the 1990 motion picture, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. 
This is WIAR 88.3 FM, and you're listening to Theme Street, the show all about the word on the street. And the word on the street today, eyes. Oh, you know that I sing. Sing because I'm happy. Ah, sing I sing because I'm free.
Hogan's had a little miss, Nancy Ann. She always hustled and squabbling with her man. When I heard Miss Nancy say, Why do you treat your girl that way? I went down the alley for the night. Nancy and a man had just had a fight. He hit Miss Nancy across her head. And she rose to her feet, she said. You low down alligator. Just watch me sooner or later. Gonna catch you with your princess down. You abuse me and mistreat me. You dog around and beat me. Till I'm gonna hang around. Take all my money, black of both of my eyes. Give it to another woman. Come home and tell me lies. Down alligator, just watch me sooner or later. Gonna catch you with your bridges down. I mean, catch you with your bridges down.
Evelyn Knight, Brush Those Tears from Your Eyes from 1949. During a seven-year span in the late 40s and 50s, Knight had two number one hit records and 13 that made the top 40. She was among the pioneers of early TV with several appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show, The Colgate Comedy Hour, and a 1951 TV appearance with Abbott and Costello. Knight was among the original 1,500 stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Before that, Ma Rainey, Black Eye Blues from 1928, one of the earliest African-American professional blues singers and one of the first generation of blues singers to record. She was billed as the mother of the blues. She began performing as a teenager and became known as Ma Rainey after her marriage to Will Rainey in 1904. They toured with the Rabbit Foot Minstrels and later formed their own group, Rainey and Rainey, Assassinators of the Blues. Her first recording was made in 1923. In the next five years, she made over 100 recordings. The great Ma Rainey. We heard You Can't Pull the Wool Over My Eyes from 1936 from Benny Goodman with Helen Ward on vocal. Helen Ward began singing with Benny Goodman in 1934. In 38, her husband, Alfred Marks, arranged for Goodman's big Carnegie Hall concert to be recorded for her as a souvenir. That recording was released as a dual LP set by Columbia Records in 1950 under the title The Famous 1938 Carnegie Hall Jazz Concert. The event has been described as the single most important jazz or popular music concert in history, jazz's coming out party. And we started off that set with the Harmonizing Four. His Eye is on the Sparrow from 1958. The Harmonizing Four were a gospel quartet organized in 1927. The group recorded for Decca Records in 1943 and were most popular during the post-war years, performing at such high-profile events as the 1944 National Baptist Convention, the funeral ceremony for FDR in 45 and the wedding ceremony of Sister Rosetta Tharp and Russell Morrison, an event recorded for a live album to which the group contributed four songs. This is WYAR 88.3 FM, and you're listening to Theme Street, the show all about the word on the street and the word on the street today. Eyes. Watch them give you one. 
every single cloud would disappear. I'd wear a smile if you popular musical artist of the early 20th century, Sophie Tucker. There's something Spanish in my eyes from 1928 with Ted Shapiro and his orchestra. In 1921, Tucker hired pianist and songwriter Ted Shapiro as her accompanist and musical director, a position he would keep throughout her career. Before that, Ruth Brown, Teardrops from My Eyes. Written by Rudy Toombs, Teardrops from My Eyes was the first upbeat major hit for Ruth Brown, establishing her as an important figure in rhythm and blues, recorded for Atlantic Records in New York City and released in October 1950. It was Billboard's number one R&B hit for 11 non-consecutive weeks. It was Atlantic's first release on the new 45 RPM record format, and Brown's first of five number one R&B hits. We heard Smoke Gets In Your Eyes from The Platters, a show tune written by composer Jerome Kern and lyricist Otto Harbach for the 1933 musical Roberta. Paul Whiteman had the first hit recording of the song on the record charts in 1934, and The Platters recorded it in 58 and became a number one hit. The widow of composer Jerome Kern disliked the platter's recording so much she considered legal action to prevent its distribution. 
And we started off that set with Gus Arnum with the Rhythm Boys, Them, Their Eyes from 1931. Though the Rhythm Boys name would continue to be used by others, this popular Arnheim hit was the final commercial disc to feature Paul Whiteman's original Rhythm Boys trio of Bing Crosby, Al Rinker, and Harry Barris. You're listening to WIAR 88.3 FM, the voice of the Heritage Radio Society. WIAR is only on the air thanks to contributions from listeners like you. If you'd like to keep hearing commercial free radio, playing songs you love, and introducing you to new ones, please consider supporting WIAR. You can connect with us at our website at wyar.org or through the good old postal service at P.O. Box 414, Yarmouth, Maine, 04096. Your support is greatly appreciated. I'm Kent, and this is Theme Street, the show all about the word on the street. And the word on the street today, eyes. <laughs> Oh, I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. Yes, I am. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. You eat your spinach? He's strong to the finish, cause he eats his spinach. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. Now I'm one tough gizzle guest, which hates all pelogas. What ain't on me up and square? Uh, I biffs em and buffs em and always up roughs em and none of them gets nowhere. If anyone dashes to risk his fist, it's bop and it's wham, understand? So keep good behavior, that's your one lifesaver with Popeye the Sailor Man. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. He's strong to the finish, cause he eats his spinach. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. He's Popeye, 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 the Sailor Man. Well, what do you know? Eyes, hurry up, put me wise. Honest and truly, better stop telling lies. Would you like to be on my family tree? Won't you answer with your big blue eyes? Don't keep me in the dark, bright eyes. Bring sunshine to my heart, bright eyes. My love is burning, oh, please don't delay. Don't keep me yearning. Let's marry today. You know when all is said and done that two can live as cheap as one. Be mine and the sunshine will light up the skies. Don't keep me in the dark, bright eyes. Hurry up, bright eyes, answer my questionnaire. Do you intend to love me or give me air? Am I yours or not? Now tell me what is what. Tell me, do you really truly care? Keep me in the dark, bright eyes. Bring sunshine to my heart, bright eyes. I've got the kisses and you've got the jack. You know I'm willing, and so what's holding us back? You know when all is said and done, that two can live almost as cheap as one. Will you buy the apples? If I bake the pies, oh, don't keep me in the dark, bright eyes. <laughs> Must be a kind 
Flamingos, I Only Have Eyes for You, from 1959. Universally hailed as one of the finest and most influential vocal groups in pop music history, the Flamingos defined doo-wop at its most elegant and sophisticated. Before that, Lee Morse and her Bluegrass Boys, Don't Keep Me in the Dark, Bright Eyes, from 1928. Morse's greatest popularity was in the 1920s and early 30s as a torch singer, although her career began around 1917 and continued until her death in 1954. Morse was known for her strong, deep singing voice and vocal range, which often belied her petite frame. One of her trademarks was her unique style of yodeling, which was on full display there. She recorded over 200 songs over her career and was also a moderately successful actress on the Broadway stage. And we started off that set with the theme to Popeye the Sailor by Jack Mercer from 1951. When William Costello, the original cartoon voice of Popeye from 1933 to 1935, became difficult to work with, he was dismissed. Jack Mercer had begun imitating Costello's interpretations of Popeye And when Lou Fleischer was searching for Costello's replacement, he heard Mercer singing the Popeye song and gave him the job. Well, I got something in my eye. I need to go get it out. But we'll leave you with one more. Here's Gid Tanner and the Skillet Liggers 
When Gid Tanner teamed up with blind guitarist Riley Puckett and signed to Columbia Records in 1924, they created the label's earliest so-called hillbilly recording. Here's one of them, Cotton Eye Joe from 1928. Hope you enjoyed this one from Gid Tanner and the Skillet Liquors, and we really do appreciate you listening today. If you'd like to hear this show again or any of the other past shows, go to our Facebook page at WYAR Heritage Radio, or just search online using the hashtag Theme Street WYAR. And join us next Monday at 7 a.m. for the next episode of Theme Street. What's the word on the street going to be? Tune in and find out right here on WYAR 88.3 FM. Until next time, I'm Kent, and the word on the street today has been eyes. I'm not